Hey everybody, my name is Tatan Zuleta, I'm a fashion and portrait photographer based in Miami and today I'm going to teach you about the inverse square law. I know most of you know this already, but for those who don't, this is it. So according to Wikipedia, and I quote, inverse square law is any physical law stating that a specified physical quantity or intensity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source of that physical quantity. What the hell did I just read? And it's represented by this crazy equation. Or this other one. I know, I know. At first I didn't understand a thing about this theory. But what it means is that any source of light will lose three quarters of its intensity. Intensity. Huge intensity. Intensity. Every time it doubles its distance. Remember, we're talking about intensity, not power. Two different concepts. Which means that even if we move our 320 watt source far away, like far away, it will remain a 320 watt source. So now that we have the theory, it's time to put this into practice and see how it really works. For this exercise, I'm going to use myself as a model to demonstrate the theory. I'm going to place myself four feet away from my background. I'm going to set up my Paul Seabuff Alien B B800, 320 watts, a half a power, one foot away from me, no diffuser. I'm going to set my camera Canon 7D with my 85mm lens at f16, ISO 100, in one two hundredth of a second. Now, after the first image has been taken, I'm going to move our source twice its distance, which means it will be two feet away, same power but different camera settings. In this case, we will go from f16 to f8 and compensate all the loss of intensity. For our last image, I'll move our source twice its distance again, which is four feet away. Light remains in the same power, but once again, different camera settings. From f8 to f4 to compensate. Now, if we put our three images together, we can see that even though the intensity is the same, there is something different on the scene. Not only the quality of the light has changed because of the size of the source, but our background is more lit. How is that possible? Remember how we said that every time the source doubles its distance from the object, it loses three quarters of its intensity? Well, if we analyze the position from the light in relation with the background, the strobe is five feet away from the background. So it will need 10 feet to lose three quarters of its intensity. So while our source has been moving apart faster from the model, which is me, and it's been already like three times we've doubled the distance. The distance in relationship with the background has only almost been doubled once, once. That makes the difference of intensity between the first and last image more obvious. So there you have it guys, the inverse square law. Give it a try, practice it a lot, and let me know how it goes. I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share with your friends, and I will be seeing you on the next video. Thank you very much, and you all have a very good day.